Sunday night, April 19th, oh, Sunday evening. The sun's just setting, super cold for some reason. Right now, I'm gonna go downstairs and make myself some ginger, lemon, and honey tea for the night. And I'm gonna find myself a nice little cozy corner. And tonight, I am going to write down all the things that make me get butterflies when I think about crowdfunding. Crowdfunding to me is not my first choice in fundraising, but it's more and more becoming clear that it's something I should really strongly consider. And such things as crowdfunding involves putting yourself out there and asking for help from your community. Those things make me really nervous, but it's to the point for me to progress, I need the funding. So that's what I'm gonna go do downstairs is untangle the nerves surrounding asking my community and extended network for help and finally coming out with my dream and that I have been building this and wanting this for a while because a lot of my community doesn't know that I've been building in secret on nights and weekends. So it will involve a big coming out and admittance that I need help. So I'm trying to overcome that so I can securely step out and raise the money I need to progress. I was looking back on some old pictures from the summer today and I remembered how I used to be making wine in the summer, like last summer, 2019. And something just clicked and I realized I should try again. I'm in the midst of product developing and something has clicked. And so I'm going to go to the distillery early in the morning tomorrow and put on a technique of combining what I've learned out here in the North Fork and what I originally was doing last summer out of my mother's kitchen. In fact, I've been working with white wines. I think I'm gonna switch to red to try my new idea. But I think I'm onto something. Good morning, it's Monday. I just got back from a run today. I have an all company meeting for my day job. And then I have some experiments I want to run at the distillery. I want to apply to iFundWomen because I'm super interested in crowdfunding. The exercise of writing down my fears on paper and physically seeing and feeling them and realizing that they are surmountable fully gave me the confidence to pursue crowdfunding and I'm going to use iFundWomen, the platform. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pack up my stuff and take my morning meetings from the distillery and get on with my day. It's pretty cloudy today, but I'm in a really good mood and I'm just going to bring the sunshine. <laughs> I'm just off of an all company meeting just now and it was 10 minutes long and the founder of my company got on and spoke to us and he announced that he was doing layoffs to compensate for profits lost and expenses incurred due to this whole situation around the world and that markets are slowing down and there's not much revenue coming in. But they can't handle the burn and they will be laying off 14% of the company today and those affected will get a Cal invite within the next two hours. So I'll know within the next two hours or by end of day if I still have a job or not. Scary. 
and it's really sad. Okay, so it's 12.59 and I still haven't heard from my day job or from an HR person or anything, so I assume I still have a job, which is great, but I'm not gonna relax until the end of the day. Meanwhile, I am getting some work done, but I'm just gonna keep working till someone tells me to stop. <laughs> That's all I can do, but heck, yeah. Startup founders often have to work two jobs, their day job, and then on nights and weekends, they work on their startups. I am one of those founders. I really like my day job. I'm often doing a lot at once. I'm used to it, it's my nature. I'm a former student athlete, I can handle it. I cannot afford to be full-time in my startup. In fact, 50% of my paycheck, every time I get it, I send it to my startup so I am self-funding right now and if I were to lose my day job it would be terrible. It's about 7.15 and I'm at the distillery. I just finished putting on what I wanted to put on for the evening. So I thought I was out of the clear. Close to the end of the day, maybe around five, I got a calendar invite. I have a feeling my fate is sealed and that I will be let go tomorrow. Which is really scary, but there's something I can do. So, so we'll see tomorrow. The meeting's at 12.30, I'll know. You guys, okay, so, oh my god. I shouldn't be laughing, but I'm laughing because I was so nervous, and it's like, I'm having an emotional release right now. I may even start crying, I don't know, okay, so. Yesterday, close to 20% of my company for my day job got fired, and they were continuing on into today and I got a couple of calendar invites that weren't normal and were suspect and I didn't know why I was in these meetings. Uh, turns out they're not firing me, they're expanding my role. <sighs> so thank God I'm still at my day job. I will continue to provide exceptional work. I'm still there. Thank God. I was so scared for the past 24 hours. All they're doing is just expanding my rule. Thank God. You have no idea what a relief this is. Because of corona, people are losing their jobs, but there's no jobs to reapply to. People are just really struggling, and I was so scared, and Gosh, I feel for so many people during this time and I don't know what I would do. I really don't. I have no I have no idea. And so I just count my blessings. I'm so grateful. I will continue to work super hard. Thank God, honestly. I'm gonna call my mom. <laughs> God, she's been worried too. But it's my update. I think I don't know who knows who knows anymore still in quarantine still coronavirus still craziness regardless I am still going to live my life as much as I can and so here we go with another day oh I'll tell you about yesterday I had my Pernod Ricard incubator session Pernod Ricard is the second biggest alcohol spirits portfolio in the world. They have brands that you've heard of, including Jameson, Absolute Vodka, the Glenlivet, Malibu, Avion, 
Anyway, they have an incubator program. They pick 10 companies a year and they help them grow. I was accepted into this exclusive cohort in the fall of 2019 and several times a year I meet with the team and um, they help me along with my progress. The session was super helpful and insightful. They taught us how to do A-B testing and how to use metrics and data to help inform decision making. It's Friday, although it doesn't matter because I'll probably work through the weekend. Last night, I started banking social media content, so writing especially copy and captions for my brand's social media that I really want to start up more sooner than later. So I'm getting a whole month's worth of content so that I can just post, post, post. So I'm going to finish that social media calendar today or tomorrow and one of my biggest goals this week was to find bottling. I think I found some options. They're not my dream option but I can work towards my dream. Yeah just chipping away, working my way towards lunch. Oh I'm also gonna go to the distillery today to see how my drinks are going. I have a shipment of ingredients coming in this weekend and through early next week so I can try new and different things. And I'm on the way to making these robust and beautiful and round and sophisticated and elevated and something you want to drink, you know? So I'm very excited. Things are going well. Hello from the distillery. Saturday morning. Wait, it may be Saturday afternoon by now. It's still 11 a.m. I woke up, you know, normal time, 7 a.m. Then I biked on down to the distillery to put on my new idea of how to make these. And we'll see how they take. But I put on four different kinds. I'll come back tomorrow to check on all of these. But it's been a productive Saturday morning. I'm feeling good, sun shining. So 